So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today we are here at Drayton Manor for their Night at the Manor media event. Um, before we get into it, I want to say a massive thank you to the park for inviting us down today to come and check out the event for ourselves. I'm not checking it out alone though. I'm here. Mr. Oakley, Oakley. Hello, managed to bonk off work. Yeah, it's been a long time since you've um, been to Drayton Manor, hasn't I, it? I haven't been to Drayton Manor for 11 years. Yes, and you're here for their um, brand new Halloween event. Yeah, there's a lot of things here that's changed, so it'd be fun to just walk around the park again, in all honesty. But yeah, it should be fun. These are brand new mazes this year, aren't they? They are, yeah. So this is the first year this event's running. They've never, ever done a Halloween event before. So we have several different scare attractions to be getting in tonight. The one I'm most looking forward to is the um, Castle of Screams. I had to get the names up on my phone there. We've also got the Hunt for Jebediah, and we've got Ooh. a audio experience as well, Jebediah. Jebediah. Apparently he's in the zoo. He's in the zoo. Yeah, we've got to we're find him in the zoo. Him. All right, produce. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we should actually get into this event and see what it has to offer. All right then, so we've made it inside the event now. And look at all this. I've not been in this room before, Adrian Manor. Well, Joe, you're going to show us what we got. We've got sure. a goodie bag, didn't we? Got some free things. Go on nice. then, show us what we got in the goodie bag. Got a nice bag. Oh yes, I like that, the night of the manor. Yeah, it's up on it. We get a free cup. I like that. Yeah. We get free hat. I like the hat. I like the hat. I really like the hat. I might be wearing that. My hair's getting cold. <laughs> so to be fair, mine is as well. It's freezing outside and it's raining. Know. We get a glove. Full of sweets. Full I of guess. sweets, okay? Yeah, full of sweets. Full of sweets. Well, there, you <laughs> there we go, dropping it already. <laughs> there we go, that's it. That's all you that's get. That's it. It's good. I like the bag though. Very good. I really like the bag. So here's our itinerary for the night, the scare event guide. And in here, we've got all of the different attractions that we're going to be experiencing today. So here is the zombie apocalypse, the re themed um, apocalypse attraction. Oh, we're going on a apocalypse. Well, yeah, we're going on an apocalypse. You don't like drop towers, do you? Uh, well, we're going on Apocalypse anyway, I'm going to get you on it. <laughs> um, we've got Hunt for Zebediah, which I mentioned um, in the foyer area. Um, Castle of Screams, really looking forward to getting in that. And the Haunted Express, which is our audio experience. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. Um, and I believe we're allowed to film inside the mazes as well, which I can't wait for. So, Joe, let's get into it. Let's do it. Guys, it is not a night that will disappoint, trust me. It will be incredible. Um, but first, to just introduce myself, my name is Victoria Lynn. Um, I'm the Managing Director for this beautiful resort uh, that you're at today. So why are we here today? We are here to talk about an exciting new night. Uh, we've got a, an amazing offering at the park and the resort. Um, and again, it's something of first of its kind. Then of course we have a night at the manor, which you guys are gonna have that sneak preview tonight, exclusive for yourselves. Um, again, I've said it time and time again, but not for the faint hearted. Uh, for me personally, it, it's, I could say that it's actually very scary. Some of it, you will be screaming. Definitely scare fests and you know, themed events or something that a lot of theme parks are doing throughout the country throughout the world um, and this year Drayton Manor decided to, to also jump on that bandwagon. Typically we are known for being a family you know, theme park but we are, while maintaining that DNA, we are looking to give the thrill seekers or the people who are looking for something a bit more different um, to, to actually join in with that. We'll have some rides that'll be open at night. So again, I love theme parks at night because it's not a usual guest experience. So um, Apocalypse, I can recommend that if you go on that at night, it's also actually a ride that we did announce that we are closing at the end of this month. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people are broken hearted with that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, um, no. Can I get <laughs> okay, it's okay. Go on, go on, go on. Guys, I don't know what happened there, but I think they escaped from one of their experiences. Oh my 
<laughs> I'm not sure. I'm really scared about this now. Right, so we've just had an introduction from the park CEO, Victoria Lynn, to the Night at the Manor event. And as you saw on camera there, it looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? It does look really good, yeah. Yeah, I am really looking forward to getting into this now. The hype is real for this event. Um, they're going to let us in to the park at five o'clock, and we're, um, yeah. Like a good, good gonna... night. There's a lot of, a lot of things um, out and about. Yeah. Yes, but a yeah, lot of it, actors. It does look like there's going to be a few good rides open. And the mazes do, from what her explanation does look, do they look interesting. Yes. So yeah, we'll have to see. So right, let's get into the park and get into our Drayton Manor night at the Manor experience. Woo All right, so Sam Costello is going to start us off. <laughs> All right then, we are going to start this big scary event down at the Vikings area. Oh, <laughs> big noise down, yeah. Sam. <laughs> I need to Sam. Think about the locals, man. Yeah, Keep that's why they can't open shockwave tonight. Shush. Right. Tell him to shush. <laughs> right, we're heading down to the actual event now. Um, like I said before, really excited to see what this event has to offer. And I've seen some good things in the biking area already. Are you excited, Sam? Really? Very. Very. You see, that is the voice of an excited man. It is. <laughs> Big excite. Right, let's get in. So it may be raining here inside the Vikings area, but I tell you what, it's still looking fantastic. Yes, what do you think to it, Joe? It's a bit rainy. It is a bit rainy. <laughs> We've met so many people. We have. Weird. But there we go. There is our Zamperla Nebulas, Loki. What I find really weird is last time I was here, none of this was here. This was just a long path that would take you under the buffalo. Here we go, Joe. Get your guns in the air. Got a DJ down here, look. Oh, oh. Oh, look at those moves. We've got some Halloween decorations down here as well. And here we go. We have got a spooky bar. Oh, hog roast. Oh, I'm going to have to get some hog roast tonight. I am starving. I've not oh, eaten oh, yet. Oh, hog. hog. You're on the whole hog. And there we go. There is the entrance to this area. I love it. So, Joe, our first ride of the evening. It's going to be zombie apocalypse, mate. How are, you, are you looking forward to this? Don't worry. This I've, is. I've done Hurricane Condor. It's <laughs> taller than this. Yeah. <laughs> this is a stunning machine. It really is. I love Apocalypse, and it's such a shame that it's closing on the 30th. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be one of the last rides we get on this. I am coming on the 30th, by the way, to get to come send Apocalypse off. But uh, yeah, look at it. Won't be seeing this site much longer. It's a shame they've only got one tower open as well. I would have loved to have seen them being able to get the other towers open. <laughs> so there we go then, we have just done Apocalypse and my God, I love that thing. I, like I said before, such a shame it's going. Joe, your first time in many years. I haven't done that right for 11 years. <laughs> what do you think to it? Um, it's the same kick, but I think because I've been on bigger and I've done more since, it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Yeah. Like, to me, when, if you've watched all these videos, you'll know I don't like drop towers, but getting on the one that I found I didn't like them on. <laughs> again was really quite good it was yeah. good. it's a good drop tower i like it i love it i really do and i think next we're gonna take a ride on the classic haunting right joe uh, have you done this before no i think it's a vacoma madhouse it is a vacoma madhouse a very good vacoma madhouse it's a bit more cheesy than what you get on hex but i tell you what it's a good one is it as good as hex um yes i would say so personally yep. so right let's get on a very wet haunting really looking forward to this one this is one of my favorites here at drayton Okay, so there we go then. We have just come out of the haunting and I have to say that was a really good run through. Um, I love the haunting, I really do. And I think it's one of the best dark rides in the UK. I do love myself a good Vacoma Madhouse. Joe. Hello. Your first time on um, the haunting. I have to remember the name then. <laughs> what do you think to it? Um, I was half expecting effects that I've seen before. Yes. So like just doing research in terms of like, if you know the haunted mansion, you know that secret effect. I was expecting that. Um, I've never seen that before. No, it's good, isn't it, though? Like, yeah, there's a few effects in there that are 
are very clever. I love the moving, I love the moving floor scene. I was saying that without spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, you, um, if you've not been on the haunting, you should go and yeah, do it. But yeah, Vukoma Madhouse is pretty much as it says on the tin. It's yeah. a madhouse. A madhouse. <laughs> but yeah, really good. Um, God, love it. So yeah, we've hooked up with Tats, um, Tats and Coasts as well. Yeah. Roller coaster racial over there, and I don't know where we're heading now, but we'll update you as we um, go along. So we are doing our first scare maze of the evening, Castle of Screams. Judging by like the online advertisements and things, they were bigging this one up a lot. Yeah, I think so the main, main one. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we've they, they've got a lot to live up to, but I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, let's get in the Castle of Screams for our first scare event of the well, first scare attraction of the evening. So here we go inside. Oh, Joe! Oh. Alright, so here we go inside the experience. Oh, wow. It's very dark in here. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see on camera. Oh, my word. Oh, my God! Jesus Christ! I think. What's going on? Oh, is there more? Is there more? Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, smell pods. All right then, so we have just been through the Castle of Screams and I would have chopped that up because you couldn't really see much in there. That was really good um, for Drayton Manor's first ever scare maze. Um, I thought that was quite impressive. Um, yeah. Well done, Drayton Manor. What do you think to it? Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, good use of the, the rooms. Yeah. It didn't seem uh, like you're in a shipping container, which was brilliant because there's a lot of paths involved, that sort of stuff. There was a lot of scenery, yeah. a lot of theming, and yeah. Good was... use of the fences. I haven't seen that before. There's yeah. There's a good amount of usage with that. Um, and what I liked about that was they bashed on them, so it yeah, made exactly, like a loud yeah. noise and made you jump. And but yeah, it was I, good. I would have said there could could have been. <laughs> Could have been longer. Yeah, just seem a little short, but, but yeah, other than that, it was good. Tats and coasters. What do you fun. think? It was fun. It was for Drayton. I think that was. I wasn't expecting that. There's quite a few scares. It stunk. It got smell pots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. And it's all inside that building there. Like, uh, yeah, you wouldn't expect there to be a scare maze. Um, it was good to get our first reactions though, and thank you yeah. straight Manor for allowing us to film in the scare maze. Really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, let's get on to our next attraction of the evening. Not sure what that's going to be yet, but the right. rain is still coming down here at Drayton Manor. It's a little bit spitty now. Yes, it's not as bad as it was though, I'm so I'm happy about that. It down. Yeah. <laughs> literally driving through rivers. <laughs> yeah, we literally were, but um, but yeah, let's continue on. But look at that. Again, you wouldn't expect there to be a full scare attraction inside of there. I love the facade for this. I want to know what this was before it was a scare maze, but yeah, let's get on. So we are walking down towards Vikings again now and we're going to try some of the food offering um, that they've got on offer tonight. So we've got a hog roast and we've got a bar. I am really looking forward to tasting this food because I am starving, like I said at the start of the vlog. Um, I've not eaten all day. Yeah? I'm hungry. Same. We're going to get some food now. Yeah. And then I think we're going to go on the... Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, Storm Force 10 in the Dark would be amazing. Oh, we've got some scare actors. The smoke. Oh yeah! On the entrance of Vikings, I really like that. But you guys were saying a um, ride on Stormforce would have been really, really good. I said that because yeah. that is the scariest thing here, is <laughs> Stormforce 10. Well, especially that wet you get. But yeah, look at all this. This looks amazing. But yeah, as I was saying, um, we're going to go do the train audio experience, I think, after this. Um, but we'll let you guys know. But yeah, let's see more of this. 
I'm really liking the atmosphere and I'm loving the fact that they've got this like fire effect on each side of the entrance and the smoke, it's, it looks great, it really does. Drayton Manor have proved they, they're really good at the theming and this just, in my opinion, reinforces it. Is he an a I'm not, I'm not quite sure about him. Oh I'm not quite sure about him. I, I, I don't think he's real. Go on to him, don't you? Hello? Get closer. Get closer. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Yeah. He's real. <laughs> oh, here's the hog roast then. Look at all of this. And you've got your bar here as well. So this serves alcoholic drinks, it looks like, but I'll show you more of that in a second. But yeah, this is your hog roast and it's opposite the Jormungander entrance. Right, so we're here outside of the bar and yeah, they serve quite a few different things if, you, if you're into your alcohol and you want to drink after hours, this is the place to do it. Um, and I've got my pork cob here, let's try it. Oh, that's so good. Oh. Would you look at that? I love the way that Loki looks, especially when the ride's going round. It's a shame that it doesn't have a lighting package on it, so it doesn't have any lights um, lighting it up, but the area is really, really lit up really nicely. I'm just trying to get my words out then. Yeah, and over here we've got more of that Halloween theming. Um, we've got this pumpkin over here that says Happy Halloween. And yeah, here's some hay bales. And there's a few of these dotted about around the area. But yeah, here we have Thor, the creds. Is it a cred? Is it not? Let me know down in the comments. Yeah, I, in my opinion, that this is the best ride in the area. I absolutely love it. Our oh, next ride of the evening is gonna be good old Yomanganda. So this is the rethemed buffalo attraction. I'm pretty sure I've said that in so many vlogs now, but there we go, for you again. Yeah, this is a brand new cred for Joe. No, it's not. I did this before you even came here. Oh. German Gander. German Gander. That's a new one. What? I did the buffalo. <laughs> well, yeah. It doesn't count as a separate cred, in my opinion. Exactly. It's definitely the same cred as the buffalo, but yeah. I like the little bit of lighting they've got down here as well. Yeah, I've never had a night ride on this. Well, I've not had a night ride in this park full stop, so let's get on German Gander. All right, so we have just done German Gander in the dark, and I tell you what, Doing Jormungander in the dark makes it a better coaster, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I, I love Jormungander anyway, but Joe, what uh, do you think to it? You can't really be, you can't, you can't really see you on camera, but no, I haven't, I haven't done that for 11 years. And what do you think to it? It's a lot slower, <laughs> a yeah. lot more rattly. <laughs> Tell you what though, we're having yeah. such a good time at this event. Um, the only rides open are Apocalypse and the rides in Vikings. The rest of the rides here at Drayton Manor are sadly closed, but that is due to locals. That's not due to Drayton Manor themselves. So I'm sure they would get it open if, um, if they could. But yeah, we're going to head off and see what we're gonna get on next. I tell you what, am I up Thor? Thor's looking really good tonight. So here's another one of those photo opportunities. Yeah, I really like the lights behind the um, hay bales. I feel like it lights this up really nice. It's a nice scene to have a photo with. Um, yeah, I tried to get my head in here. Couldn't get it fully through. I'll put the photo on screen now, um, but yeah. I really, uh, I really, really like this. Little things like this just make it, especially when you're posting photos on social media. So yeah, I think we're gonna head off on Thor now. It's got properly dark here in Vikings. One thing to note as well is the little lights and trinkets in this area are fantastic. Like Vikings looks amazing in the day. It looks even better at night. And you've even got these little spotlights in the sky, look. I absolutely love this. And there's Thor. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna try and head on that next. But yeah, absolutely loving the little bits of lighting and um, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Look at that. You've got the little bits of lighting in the corner here. Yeah, we're about to go on Thor. I, oh, there we go. I coach on YouTube. I really like this thing. I really do. I think it's a great ride for the area. And like I said earlier, it's my favorite ride here in Vikings. And here's another thing as well. Your, your little eating area is really nicely lit up. Yeah, you can definitely tell they've geared this area up for um, opening late because there is a lot of permanent lighting in the area. There we go, we have just had our ride on Thor and my God, that thing's better at night. Joe? Hello. You, that was your first time, you like it? My first time on a disco. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the model, but I do prefer 
the humpy bit in the middle. <laughs> Airtime. Yeah, fantastically well themed, really good ride. Um, overall, in a great area. Yeah. So we just exited the Viking area and yeah, I'm having to use my phone torch now because it is so dark. Um, but look at that lighting. Like I said before, um, I absolutely love the attention to detail on this event. I think it's fantastic. Um, we're going to head off to the audio experience now. Um, so what they've done is they've used the Parks Railway, they put headphones on it, and there's going to be actors apparently, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. Um, we've done the terminal at Thorpe Park and the invitation at Alton Towers, so I'm going to see how this compares with it being an audio experience, but yeah. I'm also going to attach my light onto my GoPro very soon because it is very dark, so yeah. Let's continue on. Oh, the lights are flashing and here comes the train. Yeah, like I said, this is what we're doing next. This is the, um, well, I don't know what the name is, but like I said, it's an audio experience. And all these people here, look, they're wearing headphones. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how, again, this compares to the invitation and terminal at Fort Park. It's all right, let's get on. So Joe, I don't know which one's which. We're on the invitation, but with trains. We've heard there's live acts in this one as well. Look at that. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to film on this one because it looks pretty pitch black. Yeah, I've got mine on as well. Look at this. Oh, I'm filming on my phone. Now I can't hear you. <laughs> Look at that. Fancy headphones though. Oh yeah. Got a bit of RGB. Hi, Costa from YouTube. Oh my god! Oh, so we have just come off the Haunting Express and that is amazing. That puts the, the invitation and terminal to shame. Like, um, I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to put in the video just because it was dark and uh, we weren't allowed to put the, um, uh, the light on, but yeah, that was great. It was a mixture of actors, the train going round, the train interacted with the audio. Yeah, it was great. Right, so until we were rudely interrupted by my battery, Joe was given his review of the um, the Haunted Express. Joe, what do you think of that? Yeah, it's really, really good. As you said in your previous clip, it really does put the invitation and the whatever thought was called to shame. Um, it's really, really good when it comes to that sort of stuff. Um, fantastic audio, fantastic setting, like a horror maze themed to a train. Really, really good. Good actors as well. There's a few creepy scenes. There's a few. I think everybody's gone that wide, jump, by the way. Jump, so we... <laughs> jumpy bits, but yeah, it was really good overall. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Fantastic maze, really. Yeah, I, I have to agree. And um, that's how you do an audio experience. So it wasn't just the fact that you had the audio, the visual aspect of it, and you had actors um, playing along with the story. But for me, it was just the fact that it didn't take itself too seriously as well. And the scares that you did get were very, very good. Drayton Manor, my God. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that from, um, from Drayton Manor, but yeah. 
Right, we are heading off onto the hunt for Zebediah now. Because of this light, I have no idea where I'm going, but I know we're heading towards the zoo. Um, so yeah, let's get into this um, scare attraction. So this is basically a pitch black walk around the um, zoo, I believe. Um, and yeah, we get given torches and we've got to go find Zebediah. Are you ready to find Zebediah, Joe? Sure. Let's go find Zebediah. Okay. Right, here we go. The hunt for Zebediah has started. Where is Zebediah going to be? We just don't know. All right then, so we have just done the hunt for Zebediah and it was a very spooky story. Um, yeah, so you basically walked around the zoo with torchlight and the son of Zebediah explained the story to you. And yeah, it was very, very good. I enjoyed that. Um, it was a nice spooky story. You won't find anything too scary in there. Spoiler, if you don't like chainsaw finales, you probably won't like that. But um, yeah, it was all right. And um, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Again, I love a good spooky story. Um, and that's basically what it was. Joe. You know. What do you think to your spooky story about Zebediah? Um, yeah, it was good. Um, it, was, it was just very, what's the word? It built the right atmosphere. Yes, it did. The actor was amazing, yeah. by the way. It was very good. He's he very quick and very witty as well. And I love, I love the when interaction actors, with the guests yeah. were amazing. I love it when actors can do that. He's, he's, he's great. He is. Um, I do feel the batching should probably be a bit less because we were in quite a large group that time. I feel, yeah, I, I yeah. got the same thing. I feel like if it was a lot more of an intimate group, you would get a lot more from that, if that makes sense. Um, particularly the chainsaw finale. Again, big spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, we're going to head off onto Apocalypse now for our final ride of the night. Um, the event ends at 8 and we, we're, uh, we're getting towards 8 minutes too. So, let's get on Apocalypse for our final ride of the night. Look at this thing. Yeah, you got some, um, I'll, I'll be recording another video from Trader Manor very soon where I go into detail about this, but they've started ripping up the, um, the ground around Apocalypse in, pre in preparation for it closing. So that's very interesting. Right. Let's get you back on Apocalypse, mate. Yay, last time. Right, so there we go then. We have just ended our night here at the Night at the Manor at Drayton Manor. Yes, it's been a very, very good event. And I have to say, um, bravo to Drayton Manor for putting this on. Um, the park are constantly expanding at the moment with different events, um, new attractions. And I tell you what, they're on to a winner here. They really are. Um, especially if they open more rides. That's the only thing that I would say has been a bit meh about tonight. Um, they've not had many rides open, but I can see why they've not had them open because they have quite a lot of issues with locals here. But I imagine if you've got Accelerator open, it wouldn't be too noisy for you, but there's probably a reason why it ain't open. Um, I've loved the um, attractions here that they've had for this event. Um, I've loved the Castle of Screams. Um, the Haunting Express was amazing. Um, and the Hunt for Jebediah was a really good um, spooky story probably um one that the kids could go in as well that one joe what have you thought about nights at the manor it's been really really good Dray manor should really be proud of themselves there's been a lot of work a lot of scenery a lot of smoke machines a lot of training of actors because i'm right in thinking this is the first time doing this yeah this yeah, is the so very first time it's really really good of them to put all of this effort in great lighting packages because they're not usually open at night so there's a lot of great lighting on Apocalypse, even though it's gone. <laughs> um, but yeah, around the whole Vikings area, really well lit up, fantastic sort of Halloween features and everything. But in terms of the mazes, uh, the Express was really, really good. That was, like I said, above and beyond Terminal and the Invitation and that sort of thing. Uh, fantastic, that blew those yeah, away. Really, really good and fantastic work on the mazes, the actual mazes part. So the, ca the Castle of Screams? Yeah, the Castle of Screams. That was a, re that was a really good... Um, good rendition on what they would what they want to do for a maze and yeah i feel there's a lot of um expansion time for the future so yeah. i'm really really excited to see what drayton can do in the next few years to build this event up and have it full scale on the same level as the bigger parks in the uk because i feel like give it a few years and this will be on the level of scarefest and thought park fright nights drayton manor have really gone head to head with a lot of the halloween events that they have that we have here in the uk um and yeah good job drayton manor for pulling off a good event i think again the, the, the trying things new 
there's a lot of things here that we've we've never done before. Yeah. And I think that's the, the key thing is that which is really great of them to do is trying those things. Because it's different, isn't it? Like the, the, like the hunt for Zebediah, there's nothing like that at Towers. No. And you know what, they've tried something and it works for them. I've really enjoyed tonight. It reminded um, me a lot of, you know, the Platform 13, there's like a story you told. Yeah. It's, like, it's like that, but the whole thing. So I thought it was very different and very well done. So, yeah. And I have to say, thank you straight to Mana for inviting us down. We really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, if you ever want to work together again, please let me know. And I'll, uh... <laughs> but right, if you have enjoyed the video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. We have got plenty coming up on iCodes that I can't wait to share with you. This weekend on Sunday, we are at Poulton's Park for the Halloween event. Cannot wait to get back to Poulton's Park. Absolutely love that place. And yeah, it should, uh, should be a good time. I've been Ryan from iCoaster. This has been Mr. Oakley Doakley, and we shall see you in the next video. As we shine the bright lights on you, goodbye. Goodbye.